Hello everybody! Ah, so I'm making an update video. We've got one week to go until the Inner Circle competition and I finished everything. I got all the models done about a week and a half ago. So I started working on my display board. And to be honest, I had no idea if I was actually going to get done in time. Uh, but here it is. So we've got started out with a 2x2 two two, roughly. It's a little smaller than 2x2. I think it's 22 inches on a side plus we're at the width of this. So it's about 23 inches by 23 inches, so it's a little smaller than the requirements. It was intentional just so I had a margin of error. And you can see I went with the lava here. But you can probably tell from the title, there's something special about this display board. And let me tell you, I'm so happy how this thing came out. I'm going to turn off the lights here. And I'm going to pop this thing on. There we go. Now it comes through on the camera a little different than it does in real life. You can see the brighter areas where the LEDs are a lot clearer on the camera than you can. The, the light into the eye, at least to my eye, comes out a little softer than what it's showing on the camera. But the idea here is basically this. You've got LED powered glowing lava display board. And let me tell you, as I said, I am so happy this came out. This was an idea I had for a while started with the terrain piece the mustafar train terrain piece and i was just gonna do just a regular lava board but then i decided to kick it up a notch or two or or three thousand and so this is what we got so let's talk about this there's a lot to talk about on this because this was kind of const the way i do things is i don't really do a plan i kind of i might occasionally do like a rough sketch just to organize things but 90% or 95%, I just do it all in my head. I can just visualize things in my head when I'm, when I'm doing this kind of work. And then I can translate that into real life. So all my scratch belt work, everything from works, is translating something I see in my head to reality. And this is no different. Um, so this is just basic white foam. This the uh, the cheap bubble type white foam covered in spackle and then dry brushed um nothing special about that these the clear parts here the lava is uh thin sheets of clear acrylic which i then wet sanded on one side and then airbrushed to with the appropriate colors nothing too hard there um everything here is removable so let's start here so this this these lights by the way are bright so i'm going to turn them off here Okay, so all these sections are removable. The acrylic is glued down here to the foam with foam safe super glue reinforced with hot glue. I chopped this out to fit the battery box. Here's this piece, this comes out very straightforward. And even this part here lifts out. And that's all just for, for repairs to the board later on down the road. So this is what I'm using for the LEDs. You know, I was just going to wire them up individually and then I saw this on eBay. And this is LED tape. Let me turn the light back on here. There we go. So this is LED tape. Um, it was really super cheap too. These are, I got, what is it? 10 meters of this stuff for, 12, for less than $12 shipped. And um, you can see how dense the LEDs are on here. And I got, and I used barely any of this roll. I haven't even touched the other roll um, on the board so far. So you can see the individual sections of LEDs here, wired up between them. Um, these are also self-adhesive. They're actually sticky on the back. And then I just reinforce them with some hot glue because they don't seem to stick down very well in all cases. Um, the battery box, the only thing is I, I did not realize when I bought this stuff, they were actually 12 volts. Uh, that's what they were designed for. So I had to get myself an eight AA battery box to power them, which is fine because with this many LEDs, these are really big 50, 50 is what they're called. 50, 50 LEDs. Um, so this takes over an amp at 12 volts. So even with eight batteries in there, we're still going to be 
Let's see, each AA battery is about 2,000 milliamp hours. So still, hopefully, one battery box will last a few hours on display. And these are, I only use the dollar store batteries. I don't know, so they're way more financially efficient, even if they last half as long as it's more expensive batteries. They cost like a third as much or fifth as much. So yeah, these are just dollar store batteries, eight of them in that battery box. The battery box isn't secured down, but just because it's easier that way. Um, so I started with the the size of the foam board. This is foam board, foam, just foam core at the bottom. Um, 22 by 22. And then once that was done, I went out and bought this stuff. The most expensive part was probably the, the frame, the molding for the frame that was actually like $16 for this. It was like almost $2 a linear foot. It was really expensive. This, these are just dowels, standard 1 8 dowels. They're really cheap. Um, it's three feet for like 90 cents or something like that. So, and the idea was that these would provide all the gap I needed to raise up the board above the LEDs and also strengthen the foam core. So I didn't have to worry about using anything stronger here like MDF or something like that for the bottom. I could just stick with the foam core because it's all being reinforced by the dowels here. And so I put the frame together. So I put the dowels down around it. And that's really started to come together because I did have to map out where the lava was going to go as part of the as part of the uh, planning for this part. And then I uh, drilled holes in the beams here so I had wires run through them. And it only took me... Oh yeah, and these LED tapes are so incredibly easy to work with. I mean, it really these things are literally like a, just a fraction of the time it would take to solder individual LEDs. Because they cut, they're, they're made to cut apart in three LED segments. Because there's copper pads every three LEDs. You cut between them, you can solder straight to these copper pads, so solder wires onto the copper once you got on there. They go together very, very quickly. Um, so yeah, that's the layout here. So this is bright. I don't know how this is going to show up on the camera, but let me tell you, in real life, these things are bright. These are warm white LEDs. They're not bright whites, so they're not piercingly bright, but they're still very intense, let me tell you. So we've got, what I say, 63 individual LEDs. That's why we get about 20 milliamps each. So that gives us a little about like 1.2 amps um, current draw. And so seem to be doing okay with that. They don't get too hot. I mean, I've had this sitting here for about 15 minutes on. And they never got really hot underneath there, which was another concern of mine. Having these big 50-50 LEDs here. Ooh, that's great. But yeah. And if you've seen on my Twitter at all, I do have, I did post a picture of my completed Dark Angels, which I also played in my last battle report. Yeah, I mean, so the construction of this was actually pretty straightforward, very simple. The hardest part, the, the only thing is you have to match, you have to plan out exactly where you want the lava to go while you're building the frame. So you kind of do have to do a little bit of fort planning there. But other than that, it was, it was so straightforward. Um, and my vision in my head translated to the physical reality pretty easily. And the best part is even... Uh, you probably won't be able to pick it up on the camera at this range, but the glow from the LEDs shine on the sides of the foam here. So I didn't even have to dry brush any red on here. They're just it just glows with the lava just by itself. I guess I could dry brush them for when the lights are off, but that would kind of take away from the effect, I think. So that's my display board for my inner circle entry. Of course, the, the, the terrain piece I built, which the, the 40 cam Mustafar terrain piece, will sit on top of this with its LEDs on. Um, and even sitting here in, in just normal room light, the blue does sh bright, shine bright enough to, to be visible here despite having this board on. Because the paint and the, wet, and the, um, 
fogging up the bottom of the of the uh, acrylic really does make them glow instead of being really bright here. So yeah, I'm just again, I'm just absolutely freaking ecstatic how how well this thing came out, um, especially for the amount of work I put in it. It was um, more a space challenge having somewhere to sit down and work on this than anything else. Um, because it was just base, very straightforward construction. Just I had my little cop copying saw at the at the desk, cutting out the the dowel pieces. Um, I got a little impatient gluing the frame together, so it's not perfect. But if I take my time with that, it would be it, that would look a lot better. So ignore the corners of the, of the frame. Um, what the biggest thing is, this was essentially a test bed to see if I could actually do it. I'm thinking about maybe doing a whole table like this. An entire Orkstafar table with glowing lava and floating buildings with blue glow underneath them. Ork buildings and acrylic rods holding them up above the surface. And I don't know if I have the space or the resources to pull that to, to do it. But the technical side of it, I've got figured out. And it's just a matter of having the space and time to do it and the resources, financial resources to buy the parts. But as far as the technical side, I figured it all out. I know exactly what I need to do to, um, to, to build a table. I could, I could do this on a table wide scale without too much hassle. And I think that would be pretty amazing. Have like half a dozen floaty orc buildings, blue glow, glow under each one. So each one would have its own LEDs and its own battery pack. Um, but that's my goal. I don't know if I'm going to pull it off um, for a, a table competition this year. But just because I spent so much time on the inner circle. And there's not much time left before my big tournament at the end of July. I just don't think I have enough time to do an entire table like this uh, before the deadline. But yeah, so I don't really have any pictures of this because unfortunately because of the bright LEDs, it, does, picture, it doesn't take pictures very well. But even with the, let me turn this light on, you can still, well, it kind of kills the glow entirely with that bright light on. So we'll leave it like that. So this video has been pretty long. Um, there's been a lot to explain about it, how the construction works. If you have any questions, let me know. I really appreciate um, if you had any questions for me on how this was done. But I think I got covered everything pretty, pretty, uh, um, completely. So anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>